Hi, this is Rachel, and today we're going to be talking about topic 33 in our supervision curriculum. And today's topic is compound schedules of reinforcement. Now, I want to be honest and say that anytime that I teach this, I always have to go back and look to see which one is which and what they mean, because these are just not schedules that I encounter on a daily basis. And there's no shame in that. And I think that as supervisors, we need to be sure that we are showing our trainees um, when we are outside of our bounds of, of fluency and, um, and how we go about resolving that. So one of the things that I have found, and I always use this for compound schedules, is the PsyCor YouTube channel. They also offer their stuff with a Creative Commons license, um, and they have just hundreds of videos um, on all sorts of terminology and topics, and they're fabulous. Specifically, I love using their videos for uh, compound schedules of reinforcement because they explain them in a nice, short, clear way, and they interject humor. So therefore, it's a little bit entertaining to watch while you're learning something that is sometimes very confusing. So I have linked their channel. I have linked the YouTube videos specific to the schedules. And what we do is I just play these videos in the group uh, supervision session and we discuss them. So we watch the like two, three, four minute video um, where the people on PsyCore uh, describe it. And then we talk about examples and we um, see if anybody's got any questions. And that's it. That is our discussion is watching these videos and kind of processing them together and coming up with examples together. So that's what we do for our uh, group discussion. Then for the assignment, trainees are to list the seven different types of compound schedules. And you see them listed there. There's concurrent, multiple versus mixed, alternative, and conjunctive, chained, and tandem. Those are the uh, compound schedules that we discuss. We ask them to define compound schedules define concurrent schedules, and then describe the difference between mixed and multiple, chained and tandem, and alternative and conjunctive schedules. We also ask them to write an exam question on compound schedules, including an example of a schedule and multiple choice options for answers, and then they select it. So not only do they have to demonstrate um, that they would know the answer, but they need to kind of create and think about how might this be presented, how, um, what are some other options, and, and what might an exam question look like. So this one is always really fun. Again, a shout out to PsyCor. Um, they have a lot of great videos, and you should definitely check out their YouTube channel. Um, but this is what we cover. I think this is one that sometimes gets a bit confusing with all the terminology. And at this point, they may have finished their coursework. And this might not be something that the trainees are encountering on a regular basis. So it's a nice refresher. It's a nice chance to like uh, really sort out the details um, and, and really get into some of those examples. So. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. And if you enjoy this content, please subscribe. Thank you.